It's not every day that we get news of new submarines reaching some major milestone in their development, so such a thing is bound to catch our eye when it happens. Especially when at the center of attention is something described as the most advanced boats of their kind in service anywhere, and Britain's ultimate weapon. The fancy words are used by the Brits to describe something called the HMS Dreadnought, a nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine that's supposed to usher in a new class of undersea weapons platforms. The UK committed to renewing its nuclear submarine fleet almost two decades ago. The country's current needs in this respect are handled by a class of subs known as the Vanguard, but these things are getting increasingly outdated, the youngest of the family, the HMS Vengeance, is already 27 years old, and are in need of replacement. On March 20, at the BAE Systems shipyard where the sub is being built, the British held a symbolic keel-laying ceremony for the ship, almost 10 years after the first steel for the dreadnought was cut. It was a moment that marked the sub's official birth, as huge sections of it had already been completed. The HMS Dreadnought is as long as 14 buses, or 502 feet, and it will be capable of housing a crew of 130, for the first time on such a vessel, in separate quarters for men and women, separate toilets will also be provided, and that's a first too. Displacing 17,000 tons, the submarine is powered by a Rolls-Royce PWR3 nuclear reactor, a turboelectric drive, and a pump jet. It will be capable of staying at sea for unlimited periods of time, the only limits in this respect have to do with the available supplies and stamina of the crew, and it will be armed to the teeth. The Dreadnought will carry 12 Trident 2D5 submarine-launched ballistic missiles armed with up to 144 nuclear warheads, for spearfish heavyweight torpedoes, and a bunch of other weapons the public knows nothing about. The submarine comes with a series of premieres for this kind of vessel. For one, it will use fly-by-wire control technologies adapted from the aviation industry, packed together in a solution called Active Vehicle Control Management, or AVCM. The tech will be used to control the sub's heading, pitch, depth, and buoyancy, but its specifics have not been made public. Then, the Dreadnought will feature for the first time in a Royal Navy sub an adaptive lighting system that will literally mimic day and night on board, allowing the crew to go about their business, including in the exercise areas, classroom, and sick bay, as they would on shore. This particular submarine, the 12th to wear the name, is one of four dreadnoughts to be made, the other three are the HMS Valiant, HMS Warspite, and HMS King George VI. It will come into service at the beginning of next decade, and should be capable to conduct its work for at least 30 years.